Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you what is going to be in our Easter eggs, candy, non-candy, um, some crafts that I got for my kids for Easter, and what is in my two-year-old daughter's Easter basket. So first we're going to start off with the crafts. Um, I got these felt craft kits at the Dollar Tree. And each one of them makes six crafts. So I got the three that they had. This one makes six little chicks. This one makes six little bunnies. And then this one makes six little lambs. My older two kids will probably make those and give them away to people for Easter. I also picked up three bags of these bigger Easter eggs this year. We have tons and tons of little Easter eggs, but we didn't have any bigger Easter very many bigger easter eggs so i got those for easter egg hunt for the easter egg hunt um my oldest daughter's eggs will be hidden in the backyard my middle daughter's eggs will be hidden in the front yard and my baby's egg my two-year-old's eggs will be hidden down the side of the house so as far as non-candy things these are the things that are going in my older kids easter eggs that are non-candy and then this is what's going to go in my toddler's I will also put some change and some eggs and probably some dollar bills in a couple as well. So for my older kids, I got these squiggly bands. This is the lift bands collection. So it's planes, trains, and automobiles. Then I also got these calico critters, the yellow Labrador twins. I'll just split this in half and one of them will get the girl with the car and one of them will get the boy. And then I got two hatchimal eggs here. Whoever doesn't get the car from Calico Critters will get the nest. They all end up in a shared bin anyways, but that's what that will happen. And then I got two sets of Littlest Pet Shop characters that I'll just divide up between my two older daughters. And then for my younger daughter, I got this Minnie Mouse collectibles figure set. And this Tots figurine friend set. These might not fit in eggs. We do have some even bigger eggs, so I might use those. But if they don't, I'll just put them in her Easter basket, and it will be perfectly fine. As far as candy for their Easter basket, this was in with the stuff for the Easter eggs, so it didn't make it into the basket videos. But I got them each a candy jewelry set. And then I got this Tootsie Rolls Bunch Pops that I'll just split up between the three of them. As far as candy for the eggs, I got a bag of candy bracelets. This is my toddler's favorite candy. I don't know why, but she really loves candy bracelets. And her other favorite is ring pops. So I found these Peeps lollipop rings. These are just marshmallow flavored lollipop rings or babas as my toddler calls them. So they'll each get four of those. And then I each got them each a pack of the Tropical Ring Pops. And those are Fruit Punch, a Very Berry Punch, Strawberry Watermelon Splash, and Tropical Lemonade. So we'll each get four of those in Easter eggs as well. I also got these little golden chocolate eggs to put in Easter eggs. I got these Tootsie Fruities. These are watermelon flavored Tootsie Rolls basically. I got a bag of Cowtail Minis. These are the strawberry smoothie flavor. I also got a bag of Sixlets. And then the last thing for the Easter eggs are these little gummy bunnies. And it's just one individually wrapped gummy bunny per package. So that's what's going to go in their Easter eggs. Next up, let me show you what is in my toddler's Easter basket. I did spend a little bit less on my toddler's Easter basket than I did on my other kids. So I might get her one more thing. I was thinking maybe just a Coco Melon like blind ball type thing where you get a little character and a sticker. She really likes the blind balls too and or the surprise toys and she's really into cocoa melons still as far as what i already have in her egg in her basket i mean 
I got this um, little Easter plush from Walmart. We do not need any more stuffed animals, but it was really cute and I thought she would like it. So I picked this up. It was 98 cents. Next, we'll do the Target Dollar Spot stuff, which you will have seen in a recent grocery haul, if you watch those. I picked up this um, chalk bucket of sidewalk chalk. It just has 12 pieces of chalk. It was in the Target Dollar Spot for a dollar, and you can never have too much chalk. I also got her two of these Crayola Silly Scent Doughs. This one is strawberry, blueberry, and banana. And this one is orange, strawberry, and grape. We do not need any Play-Doh at all. But we do not have any that is scented. So I went ahead and got those for, for Easter basket. I also got her two of these magnetic activity cases. I thought these would be good for like car rides and stuff. Because they're just super compact and easy to keep in the car. So I got her the Barbie one. It comes with one scene and two magnet sheets. So you get two Barbies. And some clothes to dress them, basically. And then I got her the the Mr. Potato Head ma Magnetic Activity Set as well. This one comes with a potato head and then two sheets of parts so that you can make a potato head. Like I said, she really likes the blind bags or mystery balls or whatever. Just like the other kids. So I got her two of these Doc McStuffins Toy Hospital Mini Collectible Figures. And on the back, it shows what you can, can get. These are all, all the Doc McStuff and stuff is at my mom's house. So these will probably make their way there so they can play with them with the rest of the Doc McStuff and stuff. I also got this ball that is glittery and lights up. I got this from the Target Dollar Spot as well for just a dollar. There it is. And then lastly from the Target Dollar Spot, I got the, oh no, there's Two more things from the Target Dollar Spot. I got these sunglasses for her from the Target Dollar Spot. She'll have fun with them until she breaks them. And they were only a dollar. So I won't be too upset when they get broken. The last thing from the Target Dollar Spot is this ball and bat set. All the other kids already have a ball and bat set. So I went ahead and picked up one for her. And it was only three dollars. From the Dollar Spot. Um, I got her a pair of sandals also. I actually ordered her the same exact sandals that I got for my six-year-old, but they were, they didn't have them in her size, so they substituted these. These were originally $12.98, but I did only pay $5.98 for them because they were a substitution. They're really cute, but I'm just not sure that they'll hold up to my toddler, like the other ones would up. I also got her this super light-up bubble gun. She does have a bubble gun already. She has a flamingo one, but everyone else has a bubble gun like this. So I went ahead and picked this up for her on clearance last year. She's also getting the water balloons, just like everybody else. This is like the bunch of balloon water balloons, and I got a big giant pack of them. So everybody gets six of them. And then I got her some books as well. She's getting three books, whereas everyone else only got two. She's getting this Where's Spot Lift-A-Flap book. She really likes animals, so I thought she would like this book. And since it's Lift-A-Flap, that's even more fun. I also got her this book called I Love You to the Moon and Back. And I got it because it's funny. If you Tell her that you love her to the moon and back. She tells you no, that the moon is scary because it's dark and that she is at home. And then I got her this Frozen book. It's actually a two books in one. I got this from Ollie's last year. Or the year before, maybe. This is two Frozen books. This one is Elsa's story and it's called Ice is Nice. And then here's the little book up at the top. And then you flip this bottom piece up and turn the book over. And you have Anna's Spring Fling on the other side. So you get two books in one, which I thought was pretty cool. I also got her a kite. Like I said, she's obsessed with Cocoa Melon. So I got her the Cocoa Melon kite. 
And lately she's been really into Peppa Pig, so I got her this Peppa Pig Color Wonder Mess Free Coloring Set. This just has 18 coloring sheets and five markers, so she can color her some Peppa Pig. And that is everything that I got my two-year-old for Easter this year, as well as the candy and non-candy items that will be going into Easter eggs. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification to get notifications when I post new videos. And until next time, we'll be seeing you. Bye, guys!